there, crafty friends, and welcome back. This is our second live of the day. For those of you just popping in, I am Hannah for the Doodlebug and Jazz for Indiana, and welcome to our almost daily What's New at the Doodlebug, where I show you the items that we just got in. Sometimes they're reorders, sometimes it's brand new stuff, sometimes we do techniques, but I have some fun stuff to show you tonight and a few teasers as well. So what have I got for you today? Today we are looking at Pink and Main. So Pink and Main is one of my favorites and from um, the way this section keeps growing, one of your favorites as well too. Um, so Pink and Main is a predominantly a stamp and die company but they also have great tools and they have also recently delved into the realm of foiling. So today I've got some restocks on the more popular stamps and dies and then I've also got a bunch of foil stuff for you guys because we've got our minks that just came in. I know lots of you took advantage of the bundle deal and I'm going to give you guys that bundle deal in this video as well too because Pink and Main just released their August items. So I'll be putting another order in so I can put those minks on there if we sell through what we got. All right, so I'm going to flip my camera around. Oh, welcome back. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so what have we got today for you? We restocked those Sweet as Honey card kits. These sold out after we got our initial order in and we had a waiting list. So we will get the waiting list card kits pulled um, tonight yet or tomorrow, depending on what time, um, what time we get off here and if Emily has a chance to get those. Otherwise, we will work on that tomorrow and or Sunday. We're open Sunday. Oh, that's, that's right. Bonus hour Sunday, friends. So if you are, you know, feeling crafty on Sunday or maybe feeling bored on Sunday, come on in and see us. Um, Emily is going to be here from 11 to 3 on Sunday. So stop in. It's also Shop Hop Weekend. So if you're part of the Indiana and um, Michigan, Ohio Shop Hop, stop on in to see us for that. Um, so these make eight different cards. They are... Um, summer honeybee themed so stinking cute you've got everything you need in here you've got your cards in here you've also got all the die cuts in here and those great little enamel dots in there as well all for $18.39 for your kit these are so easy everything is pre-cut pre-printed for you and then you've got pictures so you can just quickly and easily assemble them. The card kits at Pink and Main sell through every single time. And so I was really excited that we were able to get another order in with these because I was afraid she would sell out before I could get more in. So the Sweet as Honey card kits are back in stock. And again, I know a lot of you were on the, the list for those. So we will get you called on that. Next up, oh, I need to go over to the... Finished yours, easy peasy. And they're cute too, aren't they, Sarah? They are so fun. All right, this little gal here is part of that, I call it the Long Legs Collection. I don't know if they call it anything, but they are so fun. And I'm going to show you um, some real life samples of these in just a second. So this one is Stand Tall. Stand Tall is a little flamingo. And then she has dyes that match. Another one that sold out right away is this Hammies. So the hammies is this cute little hamster, gerbil, guinea pig, whatever you think you want to make him or call him. And then he also has matching dyes, but things like I really, I really think you're great. Hammy birthday. Hello, friend. Thank you. Love you. Miss ya. Just a little note to say. And then sorry, I was cheeky. Isn't that so cute? So there's that stamp set. This one sold out completely in the last live, so they are back in stock. This is the Just For You set. So all these cute little cats on there. Love that heart and paw print. And then we've got sayings like, you are the cat's meow. If you need me, I'll be here. I hope you're feeling feline, feline well. I hope you're feline well. Meow and I love Mew. So cute matching dies of course and then the little dog one 
This one is called Top Dog. And then Top Dog has dies as well. I'm going to unplug my phone. Hope we don't run out of juice on my way over. And I'm going to show you some of those samples. So here is a fun little sample of the dog one. Uh, here is a cute little example of that tall one. If not, you want the cats, you've got it. Here's the cats right here. Here is that cute little hamster one. And let's see here, I think that's it. There's another one that you could do with the little, um, do the same thing as that one with your flamingo. Just some fun little samples that we have for those. I think I got them all. Yes, I think so. So those are some of our fun samples in our pink and main section. All right, bring you guys back over and then I'm gonna plug in I know it said I was getting low. If I can get that. Hopefully. Charging again. All right. Now, on the backs of a lot of those cards you just saw, they were foiled. And we got in tons more foiling things. So this foiling system is different than the Spellbinders foiling system. The Spellbinders foiling system, you have this, this my hand here, is pretending to be a hot plate. So you've got like a hot plate that heats up and then you run it through your big shot. So it actually heats up a die, a metal die, makes it really hot. And then that basically melts the foil onto your paper. This one right here with this one, this one is all um, based off the toner in your papers. And through the magic of, I don't know, science or something, when it goes through the laminator, uh, the foil will stick to where the toner is. So anywhere there is black, which I think is so stinking cool. So if you were to run this through with say the blue foil, you run it through and then whenever you peel the foil back, you're going to have on this one, you would have blue little um, water drops or swirls, whatever you want to call those. Okay, it is called Splash. As you can see here, they ran this little um, camera through. And then when they peeled it back, the foil sticks to where the black toner was. Now, do you have to have a mink machine? No, you don't have to by any means. You can use a regular laminator. You do need to let it heat up a lot longer because when your mink will just heat up in a couple minutes, your regular laminator, um, maybe let it sit, you know, there for about 20 minutes or so because it doesn't run quite as hot as what the mink does. The mink also has six different settings as well. So you can give it different temperatures, which you can't with a regular laminator. Um, but if you've got a regular laminator, try it first before you delve in and, and get another tool. If your laminator works, wonderful. I've got products for you. If you're really wanting to foil and your laminator doesn't work, well, I have got a mink for you as well too. And then our mink bundle, what our mink bundle is, is whenever you buy a mink machine from me, you get to pick two rolls of toner at 50% off. And I will do that on this order as well, what we've got in. I know a lot of you took advantage of that last time. Um, and then we ran out of mink, so I want to add that on for you guys. All right, so we're going to go through and check out some of the new foilables that we got in. All right, so the first one we got in is the Happy Birthday Foilable Kit. So you can see you've got all kinds of great pages here, two of each. And then you're going to be able to run those through. You can cut it out. You can fussy cut it, whatever you, you can run the whole thing through at one time and just do a bigger piece all at once, or you could cut them apart to do different colors on each one. But this is a birthday one. So happy birthday foilable kit. This one here is called birthday images. It gives you all kinds of great panels. I think it's actually the same panel. Yep, I think it's the same panels all the way through, but fun panels there. Our next foil panels, 
This one is called Birthday Words. Next up, we've got um, Splashes. That's going to be a fun one. Ooh, I really liked this one. I thought that one's going to be really cool. That is the mandala. And it says you've got two different designs of mandalas in there. Oh, yeah. So you can see the one on the front and then the one on the back. So you've got two different mandalas in there. Next up, we've got thin diagonal stripes. Becky wants the birthday foilable kit. Um, Becky, do you want just the kit or do you want all the foilables? Let me know, but I'll get you a kit pulled here. Next one in our line of foils here going on, we've got masculine. So look, we've got little mustaches in there. The little ties are in there too. I don't know if there's other ones in there. Oh, Sarah wants the mandalas. You've got it, Miss Sarah. Let's see, I'm gonna flip through here. Oh yeah, there. oh, there's all kinds in the masculine one. Let me show you. So we've got mustaches. We've got argyle. We've got this fun kind of plaid. And then we've also got the ties. So quite a few in the masculine one. That's a great one. I'm going to see if there's other ones in the birthday. There's nothing different on the back, but I'm just going to check. No, nope, birthday words is all birthday words, it looks like. And then I wonder if it says... On the front, nope, it doesn't tell me if there's more than one in there or not. So I'm just going to have to check them for you. So the mandala said there was more than one. Just the foilables, the one with the presents and the hats. Oh, so this one, presents and hats. Okay, Becky, I am not sure. I, I think you mean this one then. I think you want the birthday images. I think that's the one you're wanting. Birthday images. Yes, she says. Perfect. And, yep, those are all the same in that one. Okay, moving on then. So our next row up here. This kit is called Falling Stars. Then we have dogs. There are different ones in the dogs. And then we've got cats. There's going to be different ones in the cats. We sold out of those in the last one. And then finally, we have got the many paws. Many paws there. All right, so those are our new panels we're adding. I also got in more of the transfer folders. You get one in your mink. Are they reusable? Yes, they are. But sometimes you may, you know, put it in wrong or something and you may get a little wrinkle or a crinkle in it. And then it's not going to foil right. So this is something good just to have in your stash um, in case you need them because it never fails. All right, Becky and Sarah got those for you. Awesome. Uh, it never fails. You know, 1030 at night when your mojo is kicking in, that's when you run out of glue. That's when your 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 transfer folder you know crinkles, and so then you're kind of stuck and you can't finish that project. So if you've got a mink or a laminator, this may be a fun one to add in. Oh, hold on. Hey, M, do those down there. Do the actual doodle doodle bugs. I think those will be good. All right, moving on. She is putting doodle bug out, so she is making the section super cute. And then look at all the foils, friends. I got a little crazy with the foils this time. I was so excited. Um, I'm so excited that this is gaining some speed and some traction in the store. Super excited about that and that you guys are loving it and having fun. All right, so we got in um, Cobalt Blue Cheer Foil. This hot pink one is called Fairy Wings Velvet. So Fairy Wings is the, um, the shimmer that it's got. And then the color is violet. I said velvet, violet. So there's fairy wings in violet. And then I'm going to show you here. Here's fairy wings in gold. Then we have got this super fun one here. I love the rainbow ones. So this is Roy G. Biv. 
Roy G. Biv. This one has such a neat effect when it's foiled. This one is Log Cabin. So you can see it's kind of got like a wood grain effect on there. And my friend Sandy that made the sample of the dog card when she used, um, I think maybe she did the paw prints, I'm not for sure, but she used that log cabin and it looks so stinking cool. So cool. Next up, we've got just regular silver. Plain old fun silver though. Then we've got penny. So it's kind of a copper color. Oh, this looks like a fairy wings. Yep, that's a fairy wing again. So you can kind of see how it shines. This is fairy wings in blue. Did you miss the bingo stuff? Yes, you did, Donna. And you won something. So make sure you go back, watch the video, um, and then let me know in the video what prize you want. But you were a winner, winner, chicken dinner. But you did. You missed, you missed the you missed the prizes. We clapped for you though, don't worry. Next up, we've got Glitzy Silver. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Glitzy Silver. Donna, I love those foils too. Then we've got Gold. I know I was ordering all kinds of crazy ones. And one of the gals that got the bundle, she was just like, I just want some, some basic ones. She was like, maybe call me Plain Jane. I'm thinking, well, it's already foiled. You can't be Plain Jane with foil. That's already got some good, you know, oomph to it. And then pumpkin, just a pretty orange, which I thought would be, you know, really neat, you know, with some of these for, for fall cards as well. So those are our foils that we got in. And again, just to remind you, if you want to pick up the mink bundle, um, whenever you buy your mink from me, then you can pick two foils at 50% off. And basically what that does, minks are 100. That takes, you know, a little bit over $13 off the price of your mink. And then that brings your mink price down to the same as what you're going to find it on Amazon. Okay. Um, because that's, you know, whenever we're looking at something like this, I know that Amazon becomes my biggest competitor um, and trying to price match Amazon. So that is my way of price matching them. You're going to need the foils anyway, because what else are you going to use? You do get two little sheets of foil in your mink, but we'll shoot, you do a couple cards and that's going to be gone. So you're going to want some stuff to play with. I would want more than one color as well. So then this way you've got a couple colors that you can play with as well. So again, my mink bundle, you get the mink and then pick out at least two foils and two of those foils are going to be 50% off for you. All right. And Miss Sarah, she loves to foil things and she's picking up a cobalt blue and the fairy wings in the blue as well. Good choices. And look how fun those look even side by side. Love that. All right. And then last but not least, we did get in an order of adhesive adhesives. So we've got in our little petite easy runners here. These are great if you are going to a crop and you don't want to take a lot of stuff. These are great if you have a guest, you know, crafter that comes over because um, they're inexpensive. These are also great if you have little crafters that come over because they're also, one, they're inexpensive and they're easy for little hands as well. So we've got our petite runners and our petite refills back in stock. Repositionable dots. I've had a few people asking for repositionable dots. I do want to um, not warn you, but just educate you. If you are using repositionable dots on your actual scrapbook pages and not permanent, those are more apt over time to not hold, okay? What do I use repositionable for then? Sometimes just to hold things in place and I go back and I kind of pick it up a little bit and I put my permanent there. Or if you are doing a temporary project like senior boards and you want to take the pictures back off, a funeral board and you need to give those pictures back to family members. So repositionable is great for things like that. We also got back in our vellum runner. So this is a much lighter adhesive. It's semi-transparent as well. Again, this is not one you want to use for your regular crafting because it's not going to be heavy enough over time to keep those papers up. Refills for the grands back in stock. 
our easy runner value packs where you've got a runner with a within a, a refill already in it and two extra refills you get all three of those for 15 bucks and then also pop dots or not pop dots just craft dots i shouldn't have said pop just little little craft dots we got in the mini ones that's their actual size right there and medium and we restocked our large but large in repositionable so these are nice um, if you are a card maker and you're putting a gift card or something inside the card that way you can hold it into place but they can pull it up and not damage the card so these are nice for that foam squares the thin ones these are great for card making, especially if you want to do a couple layers so your card doesn't get so thick and it can go through the mail easier. These are, I like to use these on our 3D like um, punch out pages, the deco, decoupage pages. I like them for that. And then we got just our regular squares in, our regular foam squares in. This one is only the larger size. And then this one is the large and small size. And that is it for Friday, friends. So Pink and Main back in stock. Um, and then also our adhesive order. And then before that, in a whole separate video, was our bingo prizes back there. Debbie wants the thin ones. You've got it, Miss Debbie. And Leslie started on checking in those pins today. So she said, everything in the basket is done. So super fun there um so we will get some kits together some starter kits on on um or some variety value kits whatever on the website as well and then just all kinds oh she's almost got them all this is all she's got to get done yet so not too many yet to go so uh, the pin should be checked in um by tuesday for sure if i don't get to them tomorrow she'll work on those for me on monday Yay, yay, yay. So fun, fun, fun. And let me show you the boxes that are still here that need to be checked in. It's a little out of control. Walk with me, friends. It made my eye twitch just a little bit. I at least had to rearrange them. So because we did have some boxes. So our neighbor next door is a dentist and he's great. Um, and we keep his boxes on days he's not here. Well, he had a bunch of boxes lined up with my boxes and it was making me a little, a little twitchy. So let me, oh, not, not my double chin. Good Lord, Hannah. Okay. So we've still got so many boxes. What have I got here for you? I have got spell binders to be checked in. This is the rest of the Kareen order and my Olos are in there as well. So we've got all kinds of great green pins coming in stock and this looks like a warehouse order and another warehouse order so oh my gosh we have basically four orders sitting here to be checked in so that means that next week there will be no shortage of new stuff for you guys so how fun is that and we did some rearranging today let me show you that too i know some of you don't make it into the store so we got our um what was left uh, the hello again emily just got that set in doesn't it look so stinking cute how fun is that so hello again and like i said we've got more that we've got to restock so this is just it so well not i shouldn't say so far this is what's left so we'll have more hello again coming in i rearranged the 49 and market section which is huge so our 49 and market section is huge so we've got tranquility here then we have got Nature Study next, which there's a bunch of holes. I do need to reorder Nature Study. Then we have Spectrum Gardenia. I reworked all that today. Then we have this one here is Rouge. And then a little bit of Blossoms paper because it matches as well. On the back side, we have our color swatches. So we've got Blossom, Toast, lavender and then inkwell is starting to sell down some of inkwell is already being discontinued but i will see what i can reorder there and then what else then i also 
for our 49 and market. Then the um, everywhere, is it everywhere or anywhere? Everywhere, yep. The travel one came around the corner here. And then just some of their basics, the basic rub-ons, film strips. And then we also have an ocean color swatch over here. And then in my spinners, we have Viking. We have Plum Grove, still one of my favorites because of those beautiful colors. Oop, spun it too quick. Elena. Not much of Elena is left. So if you were a fan of this, I mean, like each one is down to two or three sheets. So I would snag that while you can. And then Spectrum sorbet so got some of that and some of that works a little bit with the gardenia as well too so we rearrange that a little bit we've got making room for new simple stories that's coming in there what else did we do today sometimes i feel like i have to do this to justify to myself i did get stuff done we moved simple vintage berry fields that has come to the regular wall now so that is all set in looking good. And we moved some food and things like that over here because a lot of the farming lines have food and I don't know where to put it now, like the homegrown kind of look. And then what else did we move today? That may have been it, but yes. So whew, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, and then we did get our photo dies set in as well too. So we've got those right up front whenever you walk in. This is what I showed you in the live the other day. So we've got our photo dies set in. We still have two, seven, 10, 14, 15, 24, 33, 34, 38, and 56. So those are the ones that we have left. Um, and for any of the ones that you may want, even if we didn't order it the first time. So I'll be placing an order with them next week. So yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. So all right, everybody. Well, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. And hopefully we will see you this weekend or sometime soon if you can't make it in this weekend. Uh, remember our hours tomorrow, which is Saturday at 10 to 3. And then Sunday bonus hours 11 to 3. So it's a great day on Sunday, hopefully for you guys to hit the road, come and see us. And until next time, I am Hannah at the Doodlebug and Jasper Indiana. You can always shop us online 24 hours a day seven days a week at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Um, and thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. I am off to a wiffle ball field tonight. So all three of my boys um, always play in one of our... Oh, Debbie just got here. Debbie, you won a prize too for bingo. So whenever we get off, go back and watch that video and tell me what prize you want, okay? Um, but one of the little bitty towns, I mean, like so lot, small, it only has a church and that's it. And it's the church's festival that's called Zor, the Zor Mosquito Fest. And that is this weekend. And my boys always play in the wiffle ball tourney for as long as I can. I mean, when they were little, little guys, and now they're kind of in the, the, the men's, the men's division. Um, so they play tonight at seven. So I'm heading there. Kyan is home. He got home last night, literally at like one thirty in the morning, um, because well, he had to play wiffle ball this weekend. So he drove home last night after his classes got over. So he is home. Um, and it was so funny because he sent me a text and he, you know, and um, you want to know what his text said? Is Phoebe home? Phoebe, the dog. Yeah, not mom. Mom, are you home tonight? No, nope. is Phoebe home? Yeah, so I guess that's where I rank. Um, and then whenever he got home at like 1.30 in the morning, I heard him open my door to let the dog out so he could love on the dog a little bit. Did I get a hug? Nope. Nope, I didn't. But that's okay. That's okay. I felt like jumping if I, you know, I wanted to get, I had a doctor's appointment this morning, so I had to get out the door. But I was just going to jump on him in his bed, you know, to squeeze on him a little bit. But yeah, 
So 1.30 in the morning, my, my room door gets opened up and he's stealing my dog. I'll tell you, but that, she is kind of his. I mean, like, you know, like, he is her human. That that is her her favorite human of all. I know that I I am like third, you know, because a lot of times she'll even try and sleep in Caden's room, and I have to get her out of there because Caden says that she steals his blankets off his bed, so she's not allowed to sleep in there at night. So, all right. Well, anyway, that's enough about me. I know I, I go on sometimes. So you guys have an amazing weekend, and I will see you back on a live next week on Tuesday. Okay. Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye.